Hello everybody and welcome back to another Project Life process video. Today is going to be the second part of January for 2018. I'm going to be doing my Project Life monthly this year instead of weekly. So the plan is to do two spreads per month unless I have events or other things that I want to add in there. So let's get started. Right now I am placing all my photos around. I do have a four by six slot that I do want to put a journaling card because there are so many little stories that I want to add. So I will be adding them onto that journaling card once I pick one. Right now I am going through my journal cards and also my title card. I had a bunch of blues and yellows in my photos, so that's what I am going to focus on with a little bit of black and gray thrown in. I'm going to be placing some of the embellishments that I know I want to use, and those wood pieces are from Colorcast Designs. She has a couple of book-related sets, and this is one of them. So if you are a big book reader, definitely check that out. I'm going to be working on the title card now. And as a reminder, I am doing it monthly. So I'm going to add the letters J-A-N to abbreviate January. I'm going to put it somewhere on the right hand side of the rainbow. And originally I thought I wanted it down on the bottom. But then I decided that I wanted to add something else to it. So I'm going to put a word strip underneath the word January. So I'm going to move the letters up and figure out where I want to put that word strip. And then put the letters back on. Now that journaling card is one from an older story kit from Allie Edwards. I believe it was from the Up Kit. I chose that card because it had a lot of the yellows and the orange and the blues that matched up well with the rest of my spread. I'm gonna be adding a couple of these white star stickers and I believe I got those either from the Studio Calico sale or the Allie Edwards sale that they had around Christmas time, I believe. So my title card is now done. Next up is I'm going to try to stamp one of those asterisks onto one of my journaling cards on the top. You'll see later in the video that I switched that card out, so I'm not going to talk any more about it right now. I'm going to be doing some more stamping. I have the word currently that I'm going to add to this picture of my daughter. The ink that I'm using is the Brilliance White ink and it shows up pretty well on photos so that is one that I would recommend if you wanted a white ink. In this part of the video I am going to be moving around placing embellishments. I know I talk about this every video, but this is just the way I like to do it. I want to make sure I have all my embellishments in place, and then I can go ahead and get my journaling done. That way I know exactly how much room I have on my journaling cards. You saw me place a couple of those gray see-through embellishments, and those are from the Studio Calico Kit from, I believe, December. The best way that I found to add these on to either photos or journaling cards is with the stapler. So I have the Tiny Attacher from Tim Holtz, and I just go went ahead and cut off the top there. This photo of my son I took when he was outside driving his remote control car around so I put a little chipboard piece from the Drive Story Kit on top of the word joy. And it says the word driver, and I thought that was really appropriate, so I put that on there. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and put a couple word strips on that photo that I took of myself. We were outside that Saturday, the same day that he was driving his car around. And so I had one of the kids take a picture of me along the fence. We've been really trying to eat better and exercise. I really wanted to make sure that I document that as well. And now you'll see that I'm gonna switch out these journaling cards. I really loved the saying on that white one, but it just wasn't working for what I wanted. I've gone ahead and switched it out for one that says around here on the top, and I will figure out what I wanna do with that in a bit. Right now I am gonna go ahead and stamp on the right side of my spread here. I have this little die cut piece that says hello and then I'm going to stamp one I believe it says embracing change and on that card I'm going to talk about how me and the kids have been going out for bike rides well they go on bike rides and I go and run on the trail I have a couple of pictures of our trips outdoors and they are the two on the right hand side on the top. One of them is of my son. He's got his camelback and his helmet on. And then the other one is a shot from above. It shows him and his bike and then me and my running shoes. All right, while I was talking, I did some journaling on my journaling cards. The first card that I wanna talk about is the one that says around here. And it is going to be a little bit about my husband's work and how it has been out of the ordinary. He's been out on jobs on location is what they call it. And he's been working almost seven days a week. I'm going to be using those small letter stickers to spell out the word work. And then I'm also going to add an asterisk on the top there. And then that card is going to be done. I do have a few photos of him out on location. One of them is in his hard hat and his jumpsuit. And then another one that he took at sunrise for me. I'm going to be finishing up this other journaling card on the left-hand side. I've got a little star sticker. And then I'm going to be stamping the word love. And this is talking about how Noah was driving his remote control car backwards and I asked him why and he explained that he wanted everyone to see his good driving skills and so I put that little story on that journaling card and then as you can see I've got some more journaling onto my other journaling cards on the other side so this one that I'm sticking down those wood pieces from Colorcast Designs, I needed a little bit of color. And so I put a little bit of washi tape on there. And that one talks about the books that we are reading. And one of them says loved it. And then the other one says did not love it. So I put the ones that we are loving right now above where it says loved it. And then below it I talked about a little bit of the ones that we are not loving at the moment so that was fun the next step is that I'm going to be putting together this filler card with the circle wood piece from Colorcast Designs and then I also have this other circle piece that has a little bit of color and it also says plot twist and so I thought that would go well with the reading theme. And then I'm going to put a star there on the top to finish that card out. The only other card that I have to finish is this 4x6 journaling card. And this one is from an older story kit, I believe. And I'm not sure exactly which one. I already have the star and then a small word strip sticker already that I knew I wanted to put on there. And then I placed a vellum sticker and I'm gonna, at first I had it on the bottom and then I'm gonna move it up further towards the journaling 
it just looks a little better and that way there's not an empty space there since this spread covers about two weeks, I had some smaller stories that I wanted to include. One of the bigger stories is that I was asked to be a guest storyteller for Ellie Edwards. So I have a picture of one of my projects that I did. And that was a really fun experience and took up some time, but it was well worth it. So I wanted to make sure I documented that and then there were a couple other small things that I added in there on my journaling card and I am all set you guys I want to finish up this video and say thanks for coming I'm sorry this one took so long but I am happy to go ahead and get it posted for you guys I think I do have one more thing that I'm going to add on to that journaling card and then I am done thanks so much for coming Stay tuned for some still photos at the end, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for coming.